I understand as well that, you know, the the coaching mantra that you can only control what you can control, control the controllables, however you want to say it is is definitely a default position. But uh, I am wondering how the latest news to come out of the Pac-12 has hit you and your football program. Coach. Yeah, there's no question that mantra of controlling what we can control. Uh, it's not easy to do, but ultimately it is our only option right now. Um, and that's what actually it's been It's been nice. The last three weeks going through training camp, preparing for a season day-to-day with our players focused on the task at hand. Um, that's been a almost an escape from all of this. And it is it's ultimately out of our control. We feel good about this team, the roster we have, and the season that's certain in front of us. Um, and then through this in uncertainty, you know, once it finally plays itself out and there's some certainty of what it looks like for Oregon State moving forward, then we can, you know, process that and make a plan moving forward. Well, have you addressed this? Did you call the team together en masse? What have you done with the team on this subject matter? Well, we, we addressed it early on in camp and mm-hmm. the same thing, what, controlling what we can control, what – we feel really good about you know this current roster, this staff, the chance we have this season, and that's our complete focus. Um, so we, you know we set the stage early in camp. I think we addressed it one other time about a week ago, and now you know potentially breaking news today. Just we anticipated news going to break, but again it goes back to this mantra of controlling what we can and focused on the task at hand. And um, so, how do you think the kids have handled it? I think they've been, it's felt great in regards to the practices are normal, focus, meetings, work ethic. Um, and I, I kind of say it this way. In this day and age of college football with the transfer portal, I think everyone's reevaluating come December, January. Their, you know, their situation, each individual player, crap. I mean, coaches are doing it, and now schools are doing it. Uh, and so I don't see it that different to come December. You know, everyone's going to reevaluate and, and sort it all out. We just want to stay focused on these next four months and so you know um does it piss you off i'll just come out and ask you point blank oh there's moments there's no question i get some business you mentioned it i grew up in pasadena i grew up going to to the rose bowl and pac-12 versus big 10 games uh this will be my 17th season in the pac-12 as a player or, or a coach yeah i got some deep roots here and, and really pride of West Coast football and knowing all the schools and, and all that. So, yeah, I got some bitterness the way this is all played out. Um, ultimately, I, I see it. it's a business side, and currently we're uh, you know playing musical chairs and we don't got a chair to sit on. Well, I'm just wondering as well, do you use this as a rallying cry for the season? Yeah. You know, I don't, I don't know if I get hammered a ton with our guys. These guys are motivated. Uh, they want to they want to win. They want to play well. Um, and just because it, we're, it's out of our control of how this is playing out. Well, the players we're playing against, it's out of their control too. It's not like they made these calls or something. Um, so I don't I don't use it a ton on the motivation side. I think there's there'll be guys in our in our locker room that yeah, it might be a huge motivation for them. But as a program, we've built this thing to where. Uh, we got a chance to compete at a really high level, uh, and we're focused on doing that. Yeah, you do, Jonathan Smith. There's no question that you do. And uh, the reason why I'm not I'm not saying like, hey, let's do this, you know, for the Pac-12. Uh, I'm saying, you know, hey, um, heart of hearts, where's Oregon State going to wind up? And you know, you're hearing about Stanford and Cal maybe winding somewhere uh, on the with the ACC, or maybe the Big Ten goes and gets them, and you. And Washington State might be left without a chair. And if you go and kick ass in the Pac-12 season, the final one, then maybe you can open some eyes and get get a home that you might not otherwise have. Coach, is that a fair assessment? I mean, you'd like to think if we can play really well, and that's back to what we can control. Um, and so that's what we're focused on. We're preparing. we got a non-conference schedule first, and we're, we're locked in on that. Um, and then again, we'll, it's out of our control how this thing plays out. Um, but we're playing this season for this current 23, you know, Beaver locker room and, and coaching staff. And then we'll let the dust settle after that. Catch the Rich Eisen show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free.